Day after Thanksgiving, everybody else is shopping. Another archery buddy, Bark, is here. We're shooting long range. I'm trying out these new DAS, D-A-S, DAS uh, archery um, hunter limbs. They're longbow limbs strapped onto the, strapped onto one of my Martin Jaguar risers. For So it's only 40 pounds. But yesterday I was launching them all the way out to the 100 with very nice accuracy, and I didn't have my camera with. Today I do, so we're gonna go do some shooting. But first, the intro. Hey guys, oh, oh, this is what I wanted to test out. These are my new DAS bow limbs, uh, 64 inches, 45 pounds, not 40, but they feel really good. Sitting on a Jaguar riser, they're ILF limbs, so you see me taking advantage of the ILF compatible faces on the Jaguar, the Martin Jaguars. That's why I like this razor so much. And then I've got a standard little uh, flipper, Flipper uh, arrow rest, and I got another shooting buddy, Mark. Mark, say hi. Hey, how are you? This guy, Mark Reinhardt, makes his own bows. Everybody is in love with them. That's what he's shooting now. You can't even hear the things when they go. But we're heading out there at 100 meters. This is completely cold. First shots, no warm ups. Let's see how it looks. I gotta turn a little bit. It's way out. It's that one right there. That's the one we're going after. All right, step one, choose your gap. On a 45 pound bow, pulling it back as far as I do, it's 55 pounds, so it's one finger over. Step two, draw back onto your chin. Step three, look down the left edge of the string. Step four, tip of the arrow on the target. Step five. Oh, oh I hit wood! Ouch! But it got there, it was so soft, it probably just bounced off. Let's keep continuing. Technically, that's <laughs> still zero for one. Here we go. Number two. Ooh, I think that went over. We're going to find out on this first round. We're both shooting for the first time right now. Zero for two. Still just missed it somewhere. Zero for three. Tough morning after Thanksgiving. Just left again. Feels good though, I'm not straining. That's what I like about 45 pound limbs. Looks like other guys are showing up to do penance day after Thanksgiving. Zero for four. Up a little bit, that's about as close as she's got. Yeah. Ah, one for five. That felt good. Oh man, I like that. Last one. $109, Maybe. Nope, just left. Let's pause. That's one for six. It was actually shooting a little high, so I got to make a slight adjustment. This one does better than my 50, my 60 pound bow. I actually have to make a slight adjustment, maybe aim just a hair lower from dead center. Pausing. Yeah, I mean, we'd be smarter if we just rented the VFW hall out, to be honest with you. Everybody got together. 
it used to happen that way, but now kids, you know, once they get into college and out of college, it's getting spread out. I tell you. Yeah. Round two, guys. We got only one out of six, but it was only this high off of the bullseye. Let's try. Let's shoot, guys. Zero for zero. Listening for the thunk. One for one. If I do better than three out of six, we'll go look at them. We're one for one now. Just right. Ah. It's so fun to see them go that far in the air. One for two. Two for three. Just right. Two for four. Three for five. Yep. Now, so I've got my, my regular ball I usually shoot out here. Yeah. This, this is going to turn into a one. ball hanger. That's really exactly what I decided. Yeah. Well, to me, a ball hanger is your... <laughs> oh, just missed. Yeah. Three for six. We'll go take a look at him. Yeah. I've got to let everybody else shoot first. Yeah. Um, All right, that was three for six. Kind of spread out, but not bad. It's only the second round. Round three. Here we go. I got nothing to blame. It's just warming up. It's a perfect day. A little damp, but not raining. Calm winds. Okay, here goes. Zero for zero. One for one. Oh, one for two, just right. This is one of those times you got to say, aim small, miss small. Oh, just left. You know, you're not string walking that far. Huh? Can you see that? No, 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 dude, my string walking actually is Can one finger on top. I, I see when I shoot, I, my distance, I can't see the target. My, my string walking, my gap is actually one finger over at that distance. Can you see the target? Yeah, I'm still putting point see, right I, on I it. I don't even see the target. Maybe that's why I'm going so high, but still, it's like, my, my fist is in the way. Now, my other bow, I, after I shot a lot, I could, I could judge it pretty good, but I'm like... Two for four. I'm like still trying to figure this out. That's a pretty good one. We're going to have to go take a peek at that. Three for five. This is the one that matters. This decides if I'm making progress or not. Three for five. Four for six. We'll let everybody finish. And we're going to walk down there. Because what I really want to do next, what I want to do next is actually put silencers on these new 35 pound recurve limbs.
let's go down. Yeah, Mark, you were telling me about the. Mark was telling me about a little silencer called a wishbone, little rubber thing, kind of made out of the same material as those. Uh, what was that called in the 80s? Stretch Armstrong? Oh. You pull and pull and pull, you can't possibly pull that rubber apart. Probably it's one of the most dangerous toys you can have, man. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking snap that thing. Which I saw in the paper, the 10 most dangerous toys. <laughs> they look like me, the most fun one. <laughs> yeah, the most fun, exactly. Blunt force drum and choke me. For us, it was the oh, man. getting our first motorcycles. But you got these little wishbones you can put on this silence. Yeah. I'm going to go get some at Cabela's in a little bit, but I thought, I got a couple of pieces of leather. I'm going to just try throwing some leather on and see what it does. Have you ever used uh, cat whiskers? Do you know yeah. Looks good. You got paracord? Yes. Okay. Make them out of paracord. Take the hey, wait, let's out. take a look. Take the inside of the paracord out and tie it on that way. There's the 90 meter mark. There we are, round three today with that bow with the DAS limb sitting on the Martin. Jaguar riser, that ain't bad for beer bowl. All right, let's pause, pull them, and go shoot. Or this whole this whole lesson is going to take a course change, and it's going to be about putting those little silencers are. Because Mark Reinhardt's saying he knows how to make a little mini silencer out of what paracord? You said? Yeah, it, 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 you take the inside out, and then uh, oh. So you use the filament that's inside the paracord. No, you don't use the inside. You get rid of the inside. Oh. Just use the outside. In, you know, it's interwoven, but as you shoot it, it, it will puff right out. And hmm. I'm not going to say they're totally waterproof, but... Yeah, I'm going to try the leather first. I mean, if you got paracord... Okay. What we're really doing today is testing out this cheap $79... Amazon riser that's ILF compatible and ambidextrous left side right side it had 20 pound limbs just cheap They already took a set, but what I did do was go out and buy some nice hunter deluxe 35 pound recurve limbs set me back 125 bucks each uh, I had a new string on there that looks like it changed a little bit. Let me pop it off and twist it a little bit I need about another half an inch of brace on here you're gonna see me do something what everybody hates to do which is take it off by my I with my leg if you want nah. I'm gonna put 10 twists in it put it back on ah first arrow boom oh you got it yeah. good that made the that's on film Let's watch Mark a little bit more. Coming in. That was pretty good. Now what I'm expecting, guys, is there's going to be a lot of, a lot of twang from this, a lot of string slap up here. And I'm going to try to quiet it out. With, let's see if I'm doing this right. I'm going to get a lot of string slap right along the surface. And I'm going to try to quiet it out by putting a little makeshift leather wishbone right here. And right here, but first we got to hear how loud it is. Excuse me. I put three out there. We're shooting right off the, right off the shelf on this side. We're gonna use one finger over the top for the gap. Here goes. Got it. <laughs> First try, I tell you, Hunter Deluxe limbs. You gotta love these things. Let's do another. What's that? What's the poundage on those? Uh, 35, but it says it's 35 for a 62 inch bow. So it's probably for a, what's that, a 21 inch riser? I got it on a 17 inch, so they're gonna seem stiffer. Oh, pull that right. Did you hear that slap? These guys are cool enough. I'm going to put all six out there. Like I said, $79. Oh, gosh, it feels so good to draw, too. Two for three. 
it feels like I'm pulling back on one of those Asian bows where it's just nice and smooth the whole way out. That's what I've been looking for because all my other bows, they, man, they really stack up at the end and I've been finding out I'm pulling 60 pounds at the end. And you feel it after 30 rounds, 30, 30 arrows. <sighs> Just to the left. It shows up even more on smaller bows. Yeah. yeah, it happens faster, doesn't it? All right, we're three. Three for four? Two for four. I didn't even hear it. Two for five. Looking for a third one for six. First time shooting this thing out there. Needs a little quieting on that rest too. There's no surface, no 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 claw, no no fur. Maybe three for six. Go get him. Go get a science. No, but I think I should be better. Look what I'm. Got a little bit of radius. Little. But I'm shooting next to yours. I mean, I can't even hear yours. So there's what I got to aim for. That one's not my most quiet. Let's go. You guys can come with. Find yourself an archery club, guys. Tim shooting away with an Asian bow, pummeling that 20 meter target. Other guys are gonna start showing up here. Everyone else is going out shopping. But gosh, look at the flag. Nice morning, it's probably high 30s, I suppose. My fingers feel a little cold. Mark, is that yours on the right? Dang. Bad for not even seeing the target on that letter. Yeah. I'm guessing, but I've done this enough at this one with the other bow that I had it figured out. Now see, I got. There's 80. Two, two. Way There's high. 90. Uh, there we I'm, are. I'm just not drawing right. That's marks on this side. Those are mine shooting from that recurve. Right over the top. That be good. Not a bad group. Yeah, here goes. Just going slightly over. Even my misses are not bad. They're right in here. All right, let's pause. Let's go silence it with a little piece of leather and then see how it shoots too. I thought I thought she was out there sniffing around and got in a fight. Yeah. It wasn't a fight fight. It sounded like one was scared, but it's got to make you wonder why they're scared. It sounded like a little cub. Yeah. A kit, a cub? We call baby coyote a kit. Bub. A pup? Yeah, a pup? Nine, I guess. Yeah. You sure? No. But I know what you mean when you say it, so what the heck? Yeah. So we're going to try this. We're going to fold it over like this. And then we're going to wrap it over the string and see if it stays on. Oh, you're just using a sheet there, are you? Yep. I have no idea if it's going to stay on through the vibration. It's all experimentation. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's gonna look at me and say that better fucking go on the outtakes, Mark. Outtakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I de I deliberately put down not for kids. That one felt so good, but I don't know where they're going. There. Let's see what that looks like. You guys seeing that? It's just an overhand, you know, the one of those double knots. So let's flip it upside down, do the same thing up here, and then take it for a shot. Got one more piece. Is that it? No, this one's it. I got a shorter one. You guys go pull them. I'm not going to be able to. I did watch a couple of YouTube videos on trying to put those wishbones on, Mark. They are super hard to get a hold you gotta, of. Yeah, you got to you got to 
have good fingers because you got to stretch that to pull that through that loop. Yeah, the guy that was doing it first had one video oh. where he's trying to do it with his fingers, and then the very next fingers, the very next there video, it says, here's how to do it with some needle nose, yeah. and you're like, yeah, okay, so that worked. You got to put the needle nose through the loop and then grab it and pull it through. You know, like you're making hopper, right, hopper legs out of uh, a turkey feather. There we got another one. I'm gonna let Marco pull his arrows, and then we're gonna take it for take this for a ride. So I'm gonna hit pause.